Hi, I'm John Yedsella. I'm with Netch Pumps North America, and I'm here at Weftec 2012 to show you our new Netch rotary low pump, the T2. Now, we all know that rotary low pumps stand for maintenance in place. This T2 model is full service in place. It requires no maintenance. The tools you need to service are actually two wrenches and two Allen wrenches. As you can see, when I remove the front cover, you have full access from flange to flange. This is the first rotary low pump of its kind. And what this does, it lets you access the rotors and the mechanical seals and the liners very easily. Now, with a conventional rotary low pump, you have rubber rotors and a metal housing. The rotors are the most expensive and most dynamic part of the pump. So <clears throat> what you want to do is keep those the most robust part. So we switch the materials, just like in our progressive cavity pumps, we have the rotors made out of steel and the liners, the wear items, made out of rubber. So it's easier and less expensive to replace. And in the front cover, you can see the liners incorporated into the front cover. It's totally smooth. There's no dead areas, no dead zones, where there's screws and bolts which fibers can be hooked up on and cause damage to the pump. To replace the liners, it's incorporated into the front cover. It just pops right out. It's made of reinforced fiberglass or carbon fiber, and the elastomers vulcanized to this rigid piece. Another feature of this pump is that it requires no O-rings. Traditional rotary low pumps have separate O-rings that when you put on the, the lid, it can be pinched, or you might even forget to put it on the O-ring. This has a O-ring built right into the front cover, which goes into the back cover. It seals it. The rotors, as I said, they're made of metal. They're, they're very robust, and they're not the wear items. The rubber is the wear item. To remove it, It's that simple to remove. There's no keyway, no splines, and to remove the rubber liner inside, it's that simple. So these are the two wear items for this pump. The rub two rubber inserts, which go right into the housing. To remove the mechanical seal, use the Allen key. There's full, four set screws to remove, and it's a cartridge mechanical seal, either single or double, and it comes right off. Now to replace the lobes, it's just as easy as taking them out. And incorporated into the front cover is this rotor setting device. This not only sets the position axially, but also radially, so it's timed properly and all the adjustments are set. So this is the first pump also where the setting of the rotors are done in the, on the outside, outside of the process, where you have a tensioning device, and all you have is four screws here, four bolts. You tighten those up, remove the setting device, and your rotors are timed. Put on the front cover. Now I said this is full service in place, so not only from the front end, but also the back end. Instead of timing gears, Netsch developed a pump that uses a timing belt. So there's no messy oil to service, there's no gearbox to maintain, the footprint's smaller, I'd like to thank you for stopping by and seeing the Netch T2 rotary load pump. If you'd like more information, you can go to www.netch.com or netchusa.com. Thank you.